Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at a couple new components in Zim 10. Well, one is uh, a way that we can pass in an accordion, accordion information to a list, and the other one is a new component called a tip. All right, let's take a look now. And here is what the accordion looks like. So you can open up sections like so and even open them up further and further and further. And look at that. These things can hold anything. So anything can be put in here, an animation, a whole complete interactive work, more text, etc. Isn't that cool? And there you can see the animations happening. On this side, it's the same thing except we haven't used any colors. So we're showing that the depth can be seen with the shading in here, like so, as well as the slight indent. So it's the same thing. Done like so. Nice, huh? So that's the accordion. The tip is here. If we refresh. Up comes a little tip. Press circle. I press the circle and I get a little tip. Press the circle again and the tip has been moved. So the tip has a timer that is involved on it, uh, but also where to place it. So you can place the tip as in here inside a container. There's the tip showing up in the center bottom or the right bottom or the left bottom or the center left, etc., or the top. So uh, inside of the container, you're welcome to put a tip anywhere positioned like so. But you can also specify outside uh, an object. So here is a tip that's outside center bottom and now outside top right and etc. So all the way around you can position that. Shall we take a look at some code to see how we made the two of these new components in Zim 10? Once again, the accordion, here we are in Zim 10, the accordion though is a list. So if we scroll on down past that stuff, you'll see that it is a list object. And then the value for the list is our accordion data. And the rest pretty well stays the same. So no differences on the rest of it. Here's what the accordion data looks like. The accordion data is an object literal that has a menu and then the menu itself has information. So aside from that, there's also the shading, true, uh, dim, what does that stand for? Oh, um, each time you click in further, it gets dimmer uh, by a little bit and you can specify how much it will get dimmer as well by default. It's 0.1% alpha or something like that, or 0.1 alpha. Uh, whether you want to shift, and again, you can choose how much you want to shift as well, specifically, uh, I think by default, 10 pixels or something. Bloom, hmm. bloom and wither. So bloom and wither, or do you want to animate them? So will as they open up, do they animate? And as they close, do they animate? And you can specify the time there as well as true. You could just specify a time and uh, make it so that it blooms or animates. That, that certain amount of time for each uh, element. And then there's styles. So these are the sub-styles uh, for each one. It's an array. For each level, it, these are the styles. So we're starting off with a red background color with a white color, etc. Then the next level in, it's a blue background color, white, etc. So that's what's giving us uh, there's the reds there at the first sub-style level. If you, these ones, the outside ones, are just normal styles. So red is there. If you go in one more, then it's uh, it's got that color, the blue. And then if you go in one more in that, it's brown and, and so forth. So that's how you can style colors into the multiple levels. All of this is the menu. Oh, did we take a look at the menu? We didn't quite. So here's here's the uh, the menu property of that accordion data and it's saying uh, Europe will have these places Canada will have now uh, there's a thing called a hierarchy this is now in hierarchy format a hierarchy class and it has a complex version and a simple version this is the simple version uh, believe it or not the complex version 
comes with IDs. And the interesting thing about the complex version is you can store, uh, right now, our, we're not using IDs, we're using these words. And that means we can store strings. But if we use the IDs, then not only can we store strings, but we could store any objects. So that makes a, a hierarchy of any objects within any objects kind of thing. Um, and right now we're using the simple version where we're dealing with strings. So uh, Europe has London, Paris, and Oslo. Note that all those are leaf nodes. They're all ending. So we can put them in array, an array. If anything isn't ending, for instance, Canada has Ontario in it, and Ontario is not just a single string. British Columbia is not just a simple string, nor is Quebec. Uh, but Victoria and Vancouver inside of British Columbia, they're both simple strings, so we're able to use an array. We're able to use an array there. But anything that has more than a simple string as a value on any of these needs to be put into an object literal. So now it's an object literal of Ontario, British Columbia, and Quebec having values of Hamilton, Toronto, and Ottawa. Because we can't use Hamilton, Toronto, Ottawa like that as an array because Hamilton has these things inside of it. Uh, even with Hamilton, Dundas has a picture inside of it. So that means we have to go to the associated array and make our list uh, like so. Now, if this happens to be a leaf node, so there's nothing in Ancaster, uh, we have to then put an empty array. We can't just keep it Ancaster like that. Uh, coming with uh, ECMAScript 6, we probably could consider doing that, but uh, we didn't. So there you go. That's a format you can read it and weep, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, that's the simple format of a hierarchy, and we're storing that in the menu property of the accordion data that is all getting passed into the list here. So that helps us create a list with a nested hierarchical structure. If you want, we can take a look at the docs on that. So. and type in list and here it is so uh, there's now mention of the accordion accordions a list with the nested sections that expand open a special accordion object can be passed into the list parameter so if we scroll on down to the list parameter here's what it used to say now it says a special accordion object literal can be provided with the following properties a menu a shade shift dim, bloom, wither, and the substyles. Um, there's also hierarchy, hierarchy, and that's a new Zim class. And there's all sorts of descriptions about how a hierarchy can be all of that stuff that I described to you. Here's the complex version of it with IDs, etc. Okay, the hierarchy comes with them some things to help process, get linear lists and IDs out of things, next siblings and previous siblings. That if you ever have hierarchy, hierarchical data, such as a mind map or a radial hierarchy or something like that, you can use uh, the Zim hierarchy object to help you manage that. And now we want to see the tip. Tip's a little bit easier, although <laughs> maybe it looks complex, that's basically saying it's, I'm a label uh, along with a few new things um, to it. Uh, shall we go see some code for the tip? It's right here. So this is our tip, recall. There, press circle. Now the tip does come with the ability to delay showing the tip. So instructions is a new tip, press circle. We're centering it. Um, that would be, uh, by default, I think it's along the bottom. So that, that's its horizontal centering. And we also have bottom, but that's the default there as its vertical centering. Then we're dot showing the tip. And note that we're waiting. 
1,000 seconds. So if we don't wait, then it looks like this. Here it is immediately. It didn't wait. So you can delay that. You can delay that by passing in the amount of time. You can also specify how long that tip will stay up for. So right now I think the default is two seconds, but if you wanted it shorter, that would be showing this after one second for 500 milliseconds. Did you catch that? Probably not. <laughs> A very short tip. Um, you could specify the bottom, or instead of the bottom, it could be the top and the right hand side, and then your tip will show up in the top right hand side after a second. There she be in the top right hand side. Here we've made a circle. When we tap on the circle, we're telling the instructions to clear. So uh, this is going to wait one second, but if we tap the circle before the instructions come up, refresh, tap, it doesn't come up anymore because we've cleared the instructions. So the instructions is this tip, instructions.clear, we'll clear that as soon as we tap, and that means it won't run. It would remove it if it were showing, uh, but it won't run if it was before <laughs> it showed. If we clear it before it shows. Then we're showing the circle tip right there, and the circle tip is down here. Uh, after we show the circle tip the first time, we set the align and the V align of that circle tip to be different. So initially, the circle tip being right here is, first of all, outside the circle. It's aligned in the center and at the bottom. The target's the circle. We've specified a certain margin, no corner, and anything else that you want to specify for a, uh, for a label, such as its font, all that kind of stuff. Anything that you want to specify for a label, you can specify in here because the tip extends a label. So we position that at the center bottom to start. Oh, refresh. There it is at the center bottom to start. Once we've pressed the circle and shown the tip the first time, we've changed the location of the tip. So the second time and every other time after that, it's now at the top right. So hopefully that uh, is pretty clear as to what a tip does. <laughs> Not bad. And we saw, aside from the documentation, we saw our nice accordion menu as well. Uh, that has been a what's bubbling here at Zim, all part of the new Zim 10. Check out the earlier bubblings on Zim 10 to see integrated physics, as well as an overview. Uh, if you're really into Zim, if you followed this all the way, then you probably want to come to zimjs.com slash slack where you can join our Slack team and hang out with us. Well, it's not much, you know, it's, you don't have to do anything. You just come on in and talk with us if you want, show examples, read, read what's happening, ask questions, uh, get involved. Uh, that would be super. Zimjs.com slash Slack. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Ciao.